Wife finds her husband as mistress arranges a birthday present he'll never forget. Wife realizes that husband has a mistress and arranges a birthday present he'll never forget. Then fortunately, not every married person takes their marriage vows seriously. There are many marriages that end because of infidelity. Some couples can get through it, and some doubt the ones that can't get past the infidelity. Get divorced. When a person finds out that their spouse cheated, it can make them feel hurt, sad, betrayed, and in many cases angry. The woman in this story to occur, betrayal to a whole new level. This is the story of what happened when a wife realized her husband had a mistress. And she arranged a birthday present he'll never forget. The story is actually funnier than it is sad. A woman had a feeling that her husband was cheating on her. It wasn't the way that he acted when they were together. It was the things he was doing that kinda set off some serious red flags. In her mind. She noticed her husband suddenly texting more often than he used to when he was, he'd always be laughing and smiling at the phone when his wife asked who he was having so much fun texting, he told her that it was his mother. She had never seen her husband text his mother that often in the past and he never had so much fun doing so. So she began to wonder. The red flag was when her husband was working late almost every night. He made up excuses for why he needed to work overtime when his wife would call the office. His co-workers would tell her that he left hours ago, well, that made her wonder often, and she finally asked him when she did. Her husband laughed. He said that it was a running joke in the office and all of his co-workers did it to each other. His wife thought that was strange. His co-workers didn't know if there was an emergency at home, so they shouldn't be. Playing jokes like that, what does she really did need to contact him? If something were really wrong, but when he gave his wife that explanation, she tried to believe that he was telling the truth, but there was this little voice inside her head telling her that no something just wasn't right. Well, the last drop was the night her husband went to the store to get milk. For starters it was 11.30 at night. She wondered why having milk in the house so late at night was so important. She thought maybe he wanted to have milk and cookies before bed so she didn't fight him on it when he said he was going to the store. The real problem though started when he didn't get home until 2 a.m. Well, by this point she knew her husband was cheating on her. Sure he came home with the milk but there was no reason for him to have been gone. Two and one half hours when the store was only 10 minutes away when he got home his wife pretended to be asleep. She was positive that he was cheating, but before she could do anything about it and even confront him, she had to get her ducks in a row before she could confront her cheating husband. She wanted to make sure that she had gathered as much evidence to give her divorce attorney as possible. She also needed to find a new place to live, get the household items she needed, and get her money out of the joint bank account. She wanted to make sure that she would have everything. She needed to start a new life without her cheating husband in it. Finally she had everything she needed and it was time to confront her husband about his cheating and to expose him for the lying cheater he was. It just so happened that all of this was going to happen right around his birthday. She was struggling with what she should do and how to approach her husband. When she asked her husband what he wanted to do for his birthday, he didn't sound very enthusiastic. Every year before this one, he looked forward to his birthday and celebrating. With his wife, this year seemed to be different. He told her that he was planning to work on his birthday. He also told her that he was depressed about getting older. He told her to go out of town for the weekend and visit her friends for his birthday and have a good time. When the morning of her husband's birthday came and when she opened the closet, she found a bottle of champagne and two glasses hidden in the closet. She knew that that second glass was not meant for her and something inside her just snapped. She decided to give her husband a birthday party. That he would never forget. The woman was sure her husband would have his mistress over at the house if he thought that she was out of town, so she packed a bag and went to her friend's house so that he would think that she actually had left town. Instead, she called his mother and father, his sister, and a bunch of his friends. She told them that he would be working in their bedroom all weekend and she wanted to bring a surprise party right up to him. Everyone was on board. They thought it was a great idea. Well that night everyone met outside the apartment. His mother was carrying the cake and everyone else had noisemakers to blow. After they yelled, surprise, well, when they opened the door, the man's wife and whole family were the ones surprised they saw him naked in bed with his mistress. His mother dropped the cake. His sister was screaming and his father and his friends were yelling at him. 
Her husband was panicking while his mistress was struggling to put on her panties. The moral of this story is that you should never cheat on your spouse, especially if that spouse tends to be spiteful. A fake surprise party was a great way to let his family and friends see him for the cheating liar he was. Subscribe for more.